Good morning. Today's lesson is 5.5. Today we are going to do prime and composite numbers. Our essential question, how can you tell whether a number is a prime or a composite? Let's unlock the problem. Students are arranging square tables to make one larger rectangular table. The student wants to have several ways to arrange the tables. Should they use 12 or 13 tables? So what are the factors of 12? We did these yesterday. So we know 1 times 12 is... So 1 and 12 is a factor. We know that 2 and 6 equals 12. 2 times 6 is 12. So 2 and 6 are factors. And we know that 4 times 3 is 12. So we know that 3 and 4 are factors. So our factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Use the grid to show all the possible arrangements of 12 and 13. Draw all of the possible arrangements of 12 and 13 and label each drawing with the factors in the model. So we already did the 12, right? 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. And then for 13, it's going to be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1 times 13. So there are more ways to arrange the... So there are more ways to arrange the 12 tables, right? More than just one way. There's only one way to arrange the 13 table, but there are three ways to arrange the table with 12. A prime number is a whole number greater than one that has exactly two factors, one and itself. But a composite number is a whole number greater than one that has more than two factors. So 12 or 13 was a prime number, but 12 was a composite number because 12 had more factors. The factors of 12, remember, were 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, and 3 times 4 equals 12. But the factors of 14, only 1 and 13 were the factors. So 12 is a composite number, and 13 is a prime number. Divisibility. You can use the divisibility rules that we did, remember, a few days ago to help to tell whether a number is prime or a composite. If a number is divisible by any number other than 1 and itself, then the number is composite. So tell whether 51 is prime or composite. First of all, is 51 divisible by 2? No. Is 51 divisible by 3? So remember to find out if it's divisible by 3. You add them up. And if the sum is divisible by 3, then you know it's divisible by 3. So 5 plus the 1 equals 6. And we know that 3 goes into 6. So yes, 51 is divisible by 3. So 51 is going to be a composite number. Share and show. Use the grid to model the factors of 18. Tell whether 18 is prime or composite. So I know that 1... Oops. 1 times 18 is 18. 2 can go into 18, and 2 times 9 is 18. 3 can go into 18, and 3 times 6 is 18. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And I can actually draw those out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 1 times 18. Now what I usually do is I try to see, can I do 2? And we already knew 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The way you do this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I didn't do that all the way. It should be 2 times 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See? Glad I did that. Glad I counted or I would have had that wrong. So again, that was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'm looking just to make sure that they're even, and I don't have like one extra hanging off, okay? Um, also three went in, and three went in with six. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, whoops. I have to erase this. I'll go up here. And the way I know is I can count them, one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18, since it has more than just 1 and 8, 18 is a composite number. 
So on these next ones, you want to tell whether it is prime or composite. So you have to think to yourself, does 11 have other factors besides one in itself? The answer is no, then it's prime. Because only one in 11 goes into it. In 73, only one in 73 goes into it. So it is prime. 69 has other numbers. Three can go into it. Um, and some other numbers. So this one is composite. I think about the divisibility rules. Well, this ends in a 2, so we know 2 can go into it, right? So this one is composite. So it's a prime number if only 1 and 11 can go into it. All right, on your own, I want you to do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. You're going to enter those into a Google form, and then you're going to do Think Central. Okay? I'll be on the carpet if you need me. Good luck.